What's up, Sean Fagan here from Muay Thai Guy, and today we're breaking down my fight. And we're gonna do round by round, starting with round one. And just to give you a little backstory, this fight I took on 10 hours notice. After an intense strength and conditioning session in the morning, my trainer came up to me, asked if I wanted to fight that night. I said yes, and here we are. So if you want a little bit more insight on my mindset and to watch an entire fight in whole, make sure you check out that video. But otherwise, enjoy this breakdown. So like I said, I took this fight pretty short notice, so I didn't have a game plan, and I haven't been having a game plan recently in my fights. I've just been kind of going with the flow, but my cardio was not where it usually is. I've only been training for a week, so I made sure I want to pace myself. One thing you'll notice is that we'll both be switching stances quite often, both going from South Pole to Orthodox, trying to find different openings. So keep that in mind as you see different angles and different attacks throughout the entire fight. So early on, you can see me hammering some leg kicks. I found a good home for them early. He was attacking with the legs as well. He was getting a little bit more of his body weight into it, but I felt like mine were landing pretty sharp for the most part. And so I was just kind of getting a feel for what was open, what was there, and just taking what, what he gave me. So let's break that down because I do it often in this fight. I'll start a combination, I'll get him the counter, and as he moves forward, I'll take my post foot and jump it back to cover some distance so I can open up with this leg kick. So you'll see me set this up often, and there's a couple other leg kick combinations and techniques that I'll show you throughout this round. I'm also throwing a lot of fakes, just a lot of movement, trying to see what's there, and he's trying to do the same exact thing. One thing you'll notice is the hand fighting from South Pole to Orthodox, and here I use it to set up a leg kick. Because if we're playing some hand fighting, usually it means that punches are going to follow it up, so I like to use that to throw some leg kicks. Make sure if you're liking this type of content, subscribe. I got plenty more of it to come. So here I throw a quick leg kick, I land that, then I try to set that up or use that as a setup for the combination. So we'll do that again, I'll land that leg kick, and then I'll step through like it looks like a leg kick and come across with the hook because he's coming up for the check and so he's going to be a little bit uh, open for me to throw stuff. I don't land anything that time, but you'll see me throw that a couple times in the fight. Again, more fakes, more movement. He's got some good kicks as well. He sets them up. I try to catch that one, but it's a little bit too high. Now this drives me crazy. Watch this again. I just throw this hook wide and open without any type of setup. So my face is just right there to be punched in the face. And he's got a right cross loaded, ready to go. He hits me right on the chin. Thankfully, I got a very strong beard to help with the cushion, so it didn't hurt me too much. But it did land, and it did make my nose start to bleed. We go back to exchanging some low kicks. I attack the outside, the inside. He attacks right back. He throws a body kick. I try to catch it. He escapes it, though. Then that same exact thing is going to happen, and he's going to throw the body kick, but this time I'm going to snag onto it, and this is my favorite sweep. Let's break that down, huh? So he throws the kick. What I'm going to do is this lead hand is going to come dip underneath and it's going to be an underhook. I'm going to snag that kick and as I do that, I'm going to pass this through my hip across my body and then my top arm is going to reach across to push him down as I kick his leg out from underneath him. And once you land this, you pr feel pretty badass, but since he l saw me do that once, he's going to use that in round number two to counter me. And so make sure you check that out because it definitely hurt when he did counter me. So overall, I felt pretty good in the first round, landing some solid leg kicks. He landed a couple good punches. 
But uh, round two, we pick it up a little bit, and yeah, it just gets more and more fun from here. So make sure you check out round number two. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Give it a like, and I'll see you in the next video.